Hi guys, welcome to the Caravan and Motorhome Show here at the NEC. Uh, we are here at the Winesburg stand. Luckily today, we are here with the Winesburg Excursion CUV 500 MQ, and this beauty is the Pepper Edition. Why is it called? Oh, what's your name? Well, my name's Luke. What's your name? My name's Pete. And now we got that. We are Luke and Pete. <laughs> you've got us all day. I'm all so day. Sorry. The pepper means that you've got this beautiful grey yeah. on it. And the excursion, it's got a pot top. Not only does this look incredible from the outside, it's got loads going on in the inside, but let's have a wander around the outside. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that gets me straight away is the fact of VW base looks great on the front of the vehicle and that alloys straight away. It's DSG Auto as well. What's your thoughts and on the wing mirrors? Not what... I would personally like on something of this kind of money. I would have liked something a little bit more incorporated. What's your kind of thoughts? It's rustic. I understand mm. why they're doing that. And I think with the pop top, it does give it that extra little bit. But mm. they're going to be marmite. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I like it, I'm going to be honest with you. We've I like the little in. touches. We've just walked in, and I think this is my favourite van already. Yeah. But we'll find out. You've got a double entrance to the garage. You do, and wait until you see the size of this garage as well. It is huge Whoa, for the size of the vehicle. Yeah. That, that is a big old garage, to be fair. It is, and it's not something that you expect looking at it either, because you would think, because it's a compact, and obviously we know that compacts are quite popular at the minute, you would expect the fact of they would sacrifice that space in order to make the space on the inside, but then there's still massive amounts of space on the inside. So I don't know how they've done it, but it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. This is going to be around the low 90s at a starting price. A lot of money, a lot of money. It's big money for a compact camper, you've got to say. And uh, I don't know. I do love it. I do love looking at it. It's really nice. And we take them we're going to have to, aren't we? Because we're going to have to let them make their worth mind. Of interior. Yeah. First thing you notice when you step in, you can... That hurts. Yeah. Look at this interior. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, somehow this top short will go down. Definitely that one. If it's 32 bucks. I like the leather, I like the diamond, I certainly like the uh, fabric alternative as well. This particular version is on the left hand drive, but you will be getting it in the UK spec as well. Bits that I love about this car. Other than that, and the fact that you've got a massive roof going on because of that pop top and the light, look at this guy there. Absolutely chilly. Because you have a wing and a chair all at the same time. Now this is barn door sort of style. It does make you feel a little bit like you're in a country western, but if you have a look at that bed there, it looks like it should only be a crazy bench. Now you can pull this down here, which is your shower. Oh, sorry, yeah. Get in the Make that stick to your father. You'd have to be very small to get into the shower though now. Really cool. Really cool. <laughs> I can't get to that up. <laughs> You've got little steps here. <laughs> and they all fold up and fold away. So you've got big cupboard space here. The only downside for me as you can probably tell, there's not a lot of space in here. It is snug. It's very snug. You need to be on good terms with the people that you travel with. Yeah, 100%. I love it. I do love it. Is it practical enough, though, it's if there's four of you? Well. You've got to think I'm it's four travelling belts. In yeah, it's four travelling belts. I'm not sure that you'd fit them comfortably in I'll, here. I would sleep up there. Yeah. I'll sleep above the car. Agreed. And just have this as the big shower we got here. No, 100% agree with you. I do like the fact, though, that they've put the fridge 
just here and it's a slide out fridge as well that is pretty so it's a good way because if you look at the size of the unit it's maximizing that amount of space and there is even a little freezer in there as well that is cool. so it does work well it, i do it, like that. it's got a lot of appeal yeah i i really like it still i think it would be perfect if you're going on a short break taking the kids away in the summer holidays or something like that you can't see a downside to it other than you might be a little bit close and a bit up close and personal maybe yeah i, I mean we call luke mr google in the office <laughs> what what would this compare to what, what's its competitors out there i think this is a little bit of a difficult one to compare because obviously this is the first time that vinesberg have done one where it's kind of popped the top uh, now haven't quite ventured into that side of things yet, but I'm sure that they'll follow, obviously being linked. I think you're going to be looking at some of the van conversions that have a bit of a pop-up on it. I know that, uh, obviously, people like Bursner have started doing pop-ups as well, and obviously they've got one at the show this year, but I can't think of anything that's this kind of size, this much kind of boot space, that does this. It's got a lot of appeal, hasn't it? It was built on a VW. Yeah. It... The 150 DSG. Tick. Yeah. It looks super cool. Yeah, head turn. Tick. tick. You can have a, a wee in a chat. Yeah, that's a tick for you. Maybe not for me, but it's a tick for have you. Have a chat. Have a chat. So a wee in a chat's fine. Um, exit, the amount of space. Yeah, it's a little bit tight. I mean, you look at the fact of there's two of you in the vehicle currently, and there's not a lot of room to manoeuvre. No. Another X for me. I can see things breaking over time mm -hmm. because there's a lot of moving parts. And I know it sounds a bit weird. No, you're right. But there's a lot of moving parts. If you're pulling this up and down, yeah, I can see it. Daily basis, this isn't the burst of sort of bubble wrap. Yeah, I get it. How warm is that going to be? True. Um, God, what's the light in here, though? Yeah, it's very bright, but I think a lot of it also comes from the fact that it's the Pepper Edition, because from what I've read, the LEDs that go around this kind of headboard here come with that edition. Obviously, the colour's great as well, but maybe it is the fact that the colour is helping illuminate kind of upwards instead of sort of trapping it all down here. This is going to be your mind like that in the shop. Yeah. And People are going to love or hate it. I mean, I definitely love it. I would love to hear what everybody else thinks about it. Let us know. Comment, like, subscribe. Ninety two thousand pounds for this one. Ninety two thousand pounds, but wait, we've got more stuff to film, so let's go. Let's go show you something else.